Hi and welcome back to Heavy Rain. I really hope you're enjoying this so far. I'm having a really good but also difficult time. Some parts of the game I am very much struggling with but it's getting very exciting now with lots of stuff happening to all of the characters, both Scott and Madison, Ethan, I mean everything is going on right now. Well, let's see if we get to cut off any body parts today. Thursday, 2.18 p.m. Hmm. I think we're here with Norman. Yep. You may need your gun. I don't know if you'll need the RE system. I think he's investigating another suspect. Feeling sick. Got the sweats, hands are shaking. Hope this works out all right. Yeah, I've tried to get him off that tryptocaine stuff. I don't even know what that stuff is, but he doesn't need to be on that. Are we gonna go see this guy operating this machine or what? Hey, dude. Can you stop that thing? <laughs> Hi. Norman Jaden, FBI. Can you talk for a minute? <laughs> I'm listening. Oh. Can we go inside? <laughs> He's the guy that uh, rented the car or sold the car to the suspect. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, whether you stole it or not. <laughs> I just want to know who bought it from me. Mm -hmm. Sorry, ma'am. Don't ring a bell. I got a oh. real bad memory with me. <laughs> Perhaps Convenient. I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. Mm. You trying to scare me with your big talk? Whoa. I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. Hmm. Chevrolet. The blue Chevrolet is my only lead. I don't trust this guy. Same. I think we need to put on our... Whoa! Am I meant to be going in his little room? <laughs> well, there was nothing in there. But let's put on our Ari glasses. See if I remember how to do this. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, there's heaps of stuff. Size 10. Most likely a visitor. Um, and I am allowed to just peek around this guy's place. He's going to bash me up. Hmm. Not the car I'm looking for. All right. Well, let's find the car we want. Blood. Now why is there blood here? I'm not sure. Chevrolet. Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Has the killer's car been here? I reckon it has. If there's anything to find, we will find it. Ari coming. Traces of orchid <gasps> pollen in the air inside the garage. What? Wow, there's a car space with a heap of like orchid pollen? Look at that. That's definitely where it was. A few traces of blue paint. Same tire tracks. No doubt about it. The killer's car was here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Hey! <gasps> oh! You got me, officer. What? I'll come clean. Now that car, she buff up real good. Hands on your head, pig. Oh I ain't my got God. time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. What? I don't think so. Oh my God, this guy is huge. Oh, my glasses. No. Wow. Oh. Oh. 
no mistakes. This is so stressful. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Come on. Mm -mm. Mad Jack. Mm -mm. You're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Mm -hmm. I've no time to lose, Jack. I wanna know who that car belongs to. Well, what you want don't mean shit to me. I ain't no snitch. You better just block me up now, boy. <laughs> Do you like fireworks, Jack? Cause I bet them gas tanks are gonna blow up real nice. Shit, man, don't mess with the gasoline. Well, just say it was an accident. Or rather, I'll say it was an accident cause you won't really be able to talk, will ya, Jack? Well, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car, get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the question in time. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. Well, continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. Oh, you wow. You have the right to remain silent. Anything. <gasps> no. No, 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 no. Shit, not now. Oh, my God. Anything you say can and will be. Hey, <laughs> you look like you got no. a problem, man. No, no, no. This is not working well. Come on, Norman. It's all right. No, he had some. Damn it. Turn around. Damn it. He didn't have a choice. Oh my god. This guy is a big guy. Well, at least he's cuffed now. Damn. I wouldn't put that guy in my car. I wouldn't feel safe. Thursday, 4.30pm. 3.672 inches. Have we made up now? We're no longer fighting. <laughs> so, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Mm, it's not him. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. I guess a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? <laughs> well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. <laughs> Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. All right, let's cook these eggs. I can make great scrambled eggs. Oh, he's still got his little hamburger sitting there on the shelf. <laughs> I normally scramble the eggs before I put them in the frying pan. But hey, whatever you want to do, mate. I suppose this works too. It doesn't look very good. <laughs> one plate oh poor scott oh you just gonna serve it in a lump <laughs> just in a lump i feel kind of suspicious about this lauren I oh there the she is borrowing your bathrobe oh. get out of the Looks way better on you <laughs> What am I to do now? What's that? <laughs> the notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for royal machines in the last oh, 10 years. Yes. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. <laughs> Except 
that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course. But Lauren, wait. <laughs> Don't you want your eggs? <laughs> it's a good idea. He's not feeling very hopeful, though. If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an Origami Magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, uh, Lauren... I, I mean, that's just an assumption, but... Hmm. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. I do think His so. His name is here somewhere. Help me. We're gonna find him. <laughs> I do hope they can find a match, but I don't think it's any of these people. I don't know who it is. I don't think she had her eggs. She's found something. Who have we got? Who have we got? Who is it though? I want to know. The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. Oh. What are you going to do now? <laughs> Pick up his coffin and make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. John Shepard. John Shepard. It doesn't ring any bells. You never to give me. up, do you? All right, we need to find this Shepard guy. Time to look for John Shepard's grave. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. Thanks. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepard. Stay to here. A little further out. Thanks. Okay. I wonder how that guy knows. There hey, it is. Lauren, I found it. There's still flowers there. <gasps> There's an origami figure. Look. Look at that. What is or that? Origami figures. That's so that's weird. Quite a coincidence. No, I think that's too good of a coincidence. I think they've been planted there. These flowers are fresh. So strange. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Uh huh. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77, mm -hmm. October, I think. Okay. Oh, nice. We get to get see. Get your foot-nothing hoodlums! Get the hell out of here! God! Beat it! <laughs> you lousy, no-good brat! He's drunk again. Mm. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this hmm. won't get beat. The <laughs> rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me! Oh, I can be the little boy. That's cute. Sounds right. We can't just stand here all day. <laughs> Might as well go and play. Being out in the rain is nothing compared to being in when he's like that. Mom won't be back from work till later. She wouldn't let him treat us like this. Mm, poor kids. <laughs> it's not gonna end well for them though. <laughs> not at all. Come back, dude. Oh no. John is going too fast. He never waits for me. Why is the music already sounding very, very ominous? I don't know about this. I don't know. <laughs> I'm 
not very good. <laughs> I'd probably be screaming too going down that thing. Where is this little guy? Oh, he went in the tunnel. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Jeez, you ain't nothing but a slow boat. What is up with this music? <laughs> oh, something. What? Bitch can't do that. There's gonna be something or someone in there. <laughs> the construction site is empty. Makes for a great playground. Yeah, until someone dies. Jeez, which is you're nothing but a slow <laughs> Just wait, dude. I've never been here before. Oh, this is not good. Come on, loser. What's gonna happen though? What you doing? You're coming or not? Something. You're just waiting for the inevitable here, aren't you? You're just waiting. Hang on. Hang on. I just noticed a sign. The building site sign. It says Kramer. Kramer Construction? That's got to be linked to Gordy Kramer. Hang on. It maybe maybe it is that guy. Maybe it is him. No, it's not though. Now where's the kid gone? Oh my God. You don't need to do this. It's too hard for you. No chance, I can do it all right. Just watch. There's something... Something about... Now I'm suspicious of that Gordy guy. So now my thoughts are... Is Gordy Kramer... How old was he when these boys it's were time. around? So dangerous. Come on, kid. <laughs> There's no way I'd ever do that. What's the deal with this music? Let's play hide and seek. Here we go. You go and count to twenty and try to find me, okay? One Two, three, four, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. You just know he's never gonna see his brother again alive, right? Help. Help? What's happening? Those cries. That's John's voice. Yeah, but where is he? Oh! Hey, dude. John! My foot. My foot is stuck. Grandpa! I'll this seems very suspicious. Very much like what's happened <laughs> to all of the boys that the origami killer is getting. Yep. I don't know. Hang on, John. I'll get help. Just hang on. Go on, hurry. I think the water's rising. I'm hurrying. I 
But the poor kid never did find any help. Mm -hmm. And his brother drowned in a pipe full of rainwater. Mm -hmm. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Okay. Well, looks like we a need storm's to find that coming. boy. I guess I better be getting home. We need to find that brother. I think he could definitely be. Christ, Actually, what a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while mm. holding his brother's hand. Do you think he. he could be the origami killer? Mm hmm. Come on, let's get back in the car. I do. <laughs> there she goes again. Surprising me. I don't usually like surprises. The kid died 30 years ago. Who's still tending the grave after all these years? The brother. Who is the origami killer? Wait. What's the uh, matter? That man over there. Yeah? That's Kramer, right? It's Charles Kramer. Yes. Gordon's father? What's he yes. doing? Putting flowers on John Shepard's grave. Mm hmm. Except I don't think it's Gordy. I think it might be the father. I think we're definitely onto something. Thursday, 11:03 p.m. 4.21 inches. It's getting so close now. <laughs> He's the guy who rented the Doc's apartment on Marble Street. You better be careful. He might be killed. Hang on, why is Madison here? Paco Mendez, the guy the Doc lent his apartment to. Not the kind of guy you take home to mom anytime soon. I'm gonna ask him a few questions. That took me so long to find the bar. <laughs> I'm looking for Paco. Paco Mendez? What? <laughs> Ah, uh, I see him. Okay. Thanks. It's your lucky day, sweetheart. The boss wants to invite you to his table. Hi, Paco. Hey, thanks for accepting my little invitation. You do know around here, honey. <laughs> Sounds like Peppy the Pew. My name's Paco. You? Madison. I'm Madison. You're making me all hot under the collar. Ew. <laughs> Maybe yeah. we can continue this conversation somewhere more private. Oh, sure, baby. <laughs> yeah, come with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, following this awful sleazy man. He doesn't even wait. Are we getting our gun out straight away? I go in. To the gun. <laughs> I get out of there before I get into big trouble. Everything's gonna be alright. Mm -hmm. Everything is going to be alright. Oh, I hope so. So, welcome to my little kingdom. Mm, it's alright, it's alright. Expected a bit more. I'll take that. Uh oh, no, you don't. Way of good things. <laughs> well, I've knocked him out, but that's what I call kicking the butt. You go, girl. There we go. Okay, come on. Act two. Let's hear Lover Boy <laughs> sing. Come on, dude. Ah! If you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? <laughs> Shit. What you want? <laughs> You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. 
I think you do. <laughs> you haven't got the balls, lady. But you're going to know balls when I cash up with you. <laughs> <laughs> we never set foot in that apartment. Give the keys to some guy. I don't know his name. I swear. Oh, ah! Shepard. <gasps> name is John Shepard. That's all I know. I swear it. There, that the wasn't so hard, was it? I really appreciated this romantic moment. Hmm. But I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. <laughs> Weird. Let's get out of here. But we've now found out that that apartment, uh, John Shepard, has been in there. Let's get out of here. Well, that's going to be it for today. But I am pretty sure I know now who the origami killer is. It's not Ethan. It's not... Um, I don't even think it's Gordy Kramer. I'm really suspicious about his dad, though. Because where... The original John Shepard died. It was at Kramer Constructions, right? And I'm pretty sure that had something to do with... I forget his name, but Kramer Sr. I am so suspicious about him now. I don't know why Gordy said that thing about the origami killer. I think Gordy is just a bit mm, crazy. But it's definitely something to do with the father. So I'm feeling so much better now about Ethan because I know it's not him. He just needs to try and save Sean. And because of Madison investigating Paco, we know that the apartment is rented to the fake John Shepard. So we are on a really good track right now. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you again very soon with some more. Bye.